question is about energy. Do we have a sensible energy strategy in this country? It's about economy. Does the current strategy for development of the oil sands actually help our economy as it should? It's also about climate policy. Are we as a nation undermining global progress for emissions reductions in order to protect just one part of our economy? There's loads of scope to improve the energy efficiency, the productivity of energy use that would cut in half our demand simply by plugging the holes. I'm surprised that in this entire book on ethical oil, as Ezra Levant demonizes sources of oil like Nigeria and Venezuela, he fails to mention that 54% of the oil Canadians use come from those sources. Because we don't have a national energy strategy, we have an export strategy. I don't want to have a national command and control policy, you must buy oil sands oil, although I know some of them do like it. What I'd like to do is empower consumers to, uh, to make choices. If we had country of origin labeling on our gas pumps, I think everyone in Montreal and Halifax and St. John's would say, hey, what the heck? I don't want to buy this Saudi oil. And they'd pressure their refiners to buy our ethical oil, and it would happen organically, naturally, freely, instead of command and control by a politician. As the leader of the Green Party of Canada, we've never called to shut down the 1.3 million barrels of oil currently being produced. But we do think we've got to change the way we're handling this going forward. We have very strong concerns about the lack of environmental regulation, the lax regulation, and the way the money is handled. What we see happening in our country is that we have, because of the way the tar sands are being developed, we've allowed our dollar to be pegged with the value of that or a barrel of oil. A petrodollar means that our currency is tied to that. It's driven up the value of our dollar, which has cost hundreds of thousands of jobs in manufacturing. There's a whole scale structural change happening to our economy that according to not just the OECD, but Canadian economists and the parliamentary committee has actually weakened our economy, made us less productive. Let's tax carbon and reduce income taxes as a result so we can replace taxes on people and on small business and on profit and to put those taxes from pollution taxes instead. The International Energy Agency report, World Energy Outlook, which came out a couple days ago, uh, calls for governments around the world to end fossil fuel subsidies and to put in place carbon pricing as a mechanism to keep oil supply and demand in something like a reasonably safe economic formula going forward while reducing greenhouse gases. Here's the great news. The oil sands is your carbon friendly fuel. Because we don't flare our gas like they do in Nigeria or Iraq. We don't have super heavy oil like they do in Venezuela. You know what oil in California is called? There's a special name. California heavy. It's so viscous. Or if you care about carbon monoxide, then you should want to replace those higher carbon fuels that America imports with our lower carbon oil sands. You're creative with your information, but according to the International Energy Agency, the tar sands crude is still the most carbon-intensive, dirty fuel in the world. Alberta has some of the world's lowest royalty rates, so the province of Alberta last year got more money from gambling and booze than it did from the tar sands. The scientists who do freshwater research in this country are concerned about the amount of withdrawal of water. Again, back to the money, they don't pay for their water. It's another reason that they're developing in the tar sands. The lowest royalty, one of the lowest, lowest royalty rates in the world, taxpayer subsidies, getting the water nearly for free, and lacks environmental regulation. We are selling $100 million a day of oil sands oil to the state. This is so big that it's, it's made energy as big as banking on the TSX. If anyone here has a, is a member of a teacher's union, a police union, any public sector union, you are owners of oil sands from your pension fund because it's the best rate of return in the country. For every job created in the tar sands, we lost another job somewhere else in Canada. I know of no current plans to deal with the fact that we have 170 square kilometers of toxic, um, what look to what migratory waterfowl as they approach, safe place to land. It's bad when ducks die by accident. We kill a lot of ducks on purpose. Obviously accidents shouldn't happen, but if you measure the ducks dying per kilowatt hour, you, you should favor oil sands over those big blenders we call wind turbines. We want to see a strategy for Canada so that we're not importing more oil than we export. That's pretty straightforward for energy sovereignty. As a national leader, we want to have a policy that works for all Canadians. We want to stop and slow down development of the tar sands so that the rest of the country
economy can catch up.